You tuned in to Just Fly with Melody, and today we are talking the $350 million film studio built here in Ghana. Stay tuned because you do not want to miss this talk. heard me correctly. I think this is absolutely amazing. And I think it is going to take so many people in the diaspora, just like this man who is pursuing the building of this film and studio here in Ghana. It's going to take a collaboration of all of us to come together and bring our resources into Ghana to begin to help continue this phase of putting Ghana on a map because, you know, that's where Ghana deserves to be. Let's take a quick look at this clip from Michael himself. Let's hear it straight from his yeah, mouth. So with the, uh, the Decrabble One World Studios, the film, film studio project, um, we've, we've been making a lot of momentum, a lot of strides towards um, acquiring the, the lands and, and pulling all the plans together. Um, we, I'm working with Chauncey to launch kind of a first phase, which will be a recording studio here. Um, we're, we're probably going to do it here in Accra. Um, and so that'll be like a first step towards building what we're trying to build, and that's the entertainment industry here. It's, it's, it's a bit of a moving target. I would say we're looking at, I would say, anywhere from three to five years to something where we can have a, a completed film studio. Um, but we want to break it in phases. And so the recording studio becomes our first milestone. And so that's what we want to execute first to bring the ability to just record good quality music here. And that's where we'll start. So let's get into this article. So this article is coming from mbbyglobal.com. And it reads, in order to enable the purchase of 321 acres of land for the establishment of a worldwide film studio and production house, a three-person U.S. team headed by Los Angeles-born entrepreneur Nana DeCrabo, a.k.a. Michael B. Pratt, is in Ghana. The project which, which is being undertaken in collaboration with WEG Studios is in Washington, D.C., Musician, producer Kobe Maxwell and actor Michael Blackson aims to investigate, and to investigate the African film market, bringing in a sizable portion of production from nearby nations, as well as bringing production from Africa to the rest of the world. The goal is to discover Africa's potential and global opportunities. I think this is absolutely amazing. The fact that he has even taken his time to just consider Ghana and really bring those investments here is what we need. And I feel like the more people that bring in their resources and help this development phase of Ghana, like we're going to get somewhere very quickly. But, it, you know, Ghana can't do it all alone. It's literally going to take a conjunction of everyone coming together to make this a reality and a possibility to expand Ghana into the future. The much cited Bravo Studios in Central Ghana will feature seven sound stages, a 240 acre backyard. Y'all listen to this. A blue screen, water tank, a recording studio, pre and post production facilities, a performance theater, a venue, office space, Hotel for the cast and crew, and most importantly, a film and music school. Do so y'all hear the readings of what's about to go now in the studio? Nothing short of a blessing. This is this is beautiful for Ghana. I love it, and I and it's in the making. You know, it's something that he's still putting together and it's coming together, you know, small, small, as they like to say in Ghana. But you have to start somewhere. And I believe that you don't just wait until you can jump full force into something. You start with a little bit that you have and begin that investment. Don't wait until you have it all figured out in order to move forward. When you have that mindset and you have that thought and you have a little bit of finances to back it up, go ahead and move forward. Why wait? Why wait? Go ahead and put in the little bit that you have. And if it's meant, the universe is going to take that, catapult that thing and turn it into something so huge before you even know it. So you have to start with somewhere. 
I'm not one of those people who believe that you have to wait until, you know, you got it all figured out and all the finances solidified in order to move forward. And I know, you know, in the real world, that is the way of doing things. But for me, I feel like you have to start somewhere. You have to start with a little bit and you do what you got to do. And listen, consistency is key and it is going to take you a long way. Trust and believe that. Whatever you're consistent in and whatever you're putting your motivation and determination into, it's going to get you somewhere eventually. What you think you're putting all this energy into something that is not going to be producing back? Oh, it has to. It has to. It's the laws of nature. It's the laws of the universe. It has to reciprocate what you are giving. So the Crabble One Studio initiators will create space for creativity and allow students to have a hands-on education. So I love the fact that not only are they building this film and studio, but they're also including a portion for school to teach those interested in learning the craft. So I love the fact that they're incorporating school into this and that they're giving the, the and that they're training up the younger generations to also be able to carry this torch and continue on as a legacy. It's education and technology. Partners work together to create an experience that empowers Los Angeles industry leading educators to teach virtually in Ghana, just teaching them the knowledge and the skills in order to perfect their craft. How amazing is that? I feel like not enough people came back to help the investments of Ghana. They were just kind of leaving Ghana, you know, for the government to deal with. And that's just not realistic. The government has to step up a lot more in a lot of different ways here in Ghana in order to help create a, a better Ghana. And, you know, I think that by other people coming and building these investments here in Ghana, it's really going to push the government of Ghana to just do the right thing and to just, you know, contribute to these efforts of so many people that's coming together to collaborate to help Ghana. It really is just going to take the government of Ghana, the citizens and people from all over to all come together. And that's really where we are moving into. We're moving into the position of just supporting each other, of just really helping to uplift each other. And it has to start somewhere. It has to start with someone. So I feel like we're moving in the right direction with this. I absolutely love this article. When I seen it, I was like, yes, this is the one right here. I was just so happy and so excited that someone has taken the initiative to do this. I mean, we just seen um, last week or the week before that, how Michael Blackson came and built a whole school here in Ghana, which is going to be free of charge for those living within that community. And I just think more and more as we come together and put these efforts forward, it's going to, Ghana is going to be leading. I'm telling y'all, everybody's sleeping on Ghana, but Ghana, Ghana's on the rise and Ghana is coming, okay? Ghana is coming. And before you know it, they're going to be the powerhouse of the world, you know? It's amazing. It's amazing. And the fact that they're switching over to gold back in, listen, when Ghana made that decision, maybe I'll cover that story too. When Ghana made the decision to switch over to gold back in, I was like, Yes, Ghana. Heaven has heard the calls, okay? And Ghana is like really separating themselves, I feel, from doing things the world's way. Like, Ghana really does take their own stance when it comes to um, voicing their opinions. Like, they're, you know, set on what their beliefs are, they stick to it, they don't waver from it. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about Ghana. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. If Ghana is not for it, they're going to stand up and say, we're not for that. Irrespective of what y'all want to do, y'all can do what y'all want to do. But we're not going for that. And I love that about Ghana. I just love the fact that they have a voice, they have an opinion, they have a belief system, and they don't waver from that. That's just one of the absolute greatest things about Ghana. And so congratulations to Michael for accepting this call in and, you know, fulfilling this mission of building this um, film and studio here in Ghana. I feel like it is going to do beautiful things for the country. And I feel like it's giving so many youth opportunities because so many of these youth go to school for things. And when they come out of school, they don't even have jobs. There's no job market for the things that they even went to school and invested their time for to study. And then imagine you get out and there's no job for you. 
So I love the fact that he's creating this resource for them to not only become educated in the field, but also to come out and have a source of employment or a source of reliability to help catapult them forward into their desired field. So this is absolutely a great thing. I love it. I love to see things like this happening in Ghana, and I love to see things like this happening in the continent. The end. So I absolutely love this story. And, you know, if you want to follow further or you have more knowledge on this topic, feel free to go ahead, drop a comment, express your opinion. And I want to know what y'all thoughts are. What do y'all think about this studio? What do y'all feel about what he's doing? Drop a comment and let me know. So that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. And do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next video, see y'all soon.